The universe is pretty good at smashing things together. All kinds of stuff collides stars, black holes and ultra-dense objects called neutron stars. And when neutron stars do it the collisions release a flood of elements necessary for life. Let's explore how astronomers used subtle ripples in the fabric of space-time to confirm that colliding neutron stars make life as we know it possible. Just about everything has collided at one point or another in the history of the universe. So astronomers had long figured that neutron stars superdense objects born in the explosive deaths of large stars smashed together too. But starting about a decade ago astronomers realized that the collision of neutron stars would be particularly interesting. For one a neutron star collision would go out with a flash, it wouldn't be as bright as a typical supernova, which happens when large stars explode. But astronomers predicted that an explosion generated from a neutron star collision would be roughly a thousand times brighter than a typical nova. So they dubbed it a kilonova and the name stuck. As the name suggests neutron stars are made of a lot of neutrons and when you put a bunch of neutrons in a high energy environment, they start to combine transform splinter off and do all sorts of other wild nuclear reaction things. That kilonova alone produced more than 100 Earth's worth of pure solid precious metals confirming that these explosions are fantastic at creating heavy elements. In short the gold in your jewelry was forged from two neutron stars that collided long before the birth of the solar system. But that wasn't the only reason the kilonova observations were so fascinating. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity predicted that gravitational waves travel at the speed of light but astronomers have long been trying to develop extensions and modifications to general relativity. And the vast majority of those extensions and modifications predicted different speeds for gravitational waves. With that single kilonova event the universe gave us the perfect place to test this the gravitational wave signal and the gamma ray burst signal from the kilonova arrived within 1.7 seconds of each other. But that was after traveling over 140 million miles, 225 million kilometers, to arrive at Earth that close to each other over such a long journey. The gravitational waves and electromagnetic waves would have had to travel at the same speed to one part in a million billion. That single measurement was a billion times more precise than any previous observation and thus wiped out the vast majority of modified theories of gravity. 